all right yo what's good everybody we're back with apothecary diaries this time we're here with episode number 11 and you guys might be wondering like why i'm looking down here and not like at the camera well it's because like usually i have my webcam attached to my laptop but this time uh what i'm gonna try is i'm gonna i put my webcam like in front of me off the laptop just so i can have my laptop in my lap because it makes it easier to like watch the episode and like actually like talk I don't have to be like hunched over when like looking at the camera because I have to make sure like everything you guys can see like my face and you guys can see the episode. So that's why I'm just trying this one uh, new setup out for this this new setup for this one reaction. And if I like it and if you guys like it, then I guess I'll just stick to it. If not, I guess I'll just go back to my old setup. <coughs> Anyways, um, I on honestly I have something to talk about. So basically, I was watching uh a reaction to apothecary diaries uh episode 10 uh just like because i need to, like to see how they edited it out like edited the footage um so i could use it for my own but basically what happened was they came up the people reacting they came up with a theory that actually kind of made made kind of sense and i'm actually kind of mad that i didn't come up with it uh it's the fact that um Jinshi is actually the son of Oduo and the Emperor. And I'm kind of pissed that I didn't come up with that. I'm kind of pissed that I had to watch the reaction because it makes sense. There's so many hints laid out. Um, the fact that Mama said that he reminded she he reminded her of somebody. He reminded wait, Oduo reminded her of somebody, which could be Jinshi as they had the same hair color. They look very similar with the purple hair. And I'm honestly pissed that I didn't come up with that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I think that theory is true. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. Like, when, like, I've come up with a theory and, like, you know, something that's, like, I, I'm not going to lie about something that I didn't come up with. So, yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, let's get into episode 11 and let's see what happens. Reducing two to one. Is it the theory? The theory? もう子を産めないのですね。出産時に何があったのですか。ドクター。関係ない話ではないです。出産。Cuz we know that last episode of Concubine, we know that Concubine Oduo and the Emperor had a child that passed away, right? When it was like a year old or something. And that was like 17 years ago, based off the the text that Ad Mama was reading. It was 17 years ago, so it could be that uh, Jinshi could be around like Mama's age, 17. They're both 17, right? That, that would make sense, you know, um, depending on how the relationship progresses and the fact that they might uh, uh, get into a relationship. Um, yeah, man, it just makes too much sense. And we're really focusing on the baby aspect of it. So, yeah, I think it's uh, almost obvious that that um, Jinshi is the son, the baby that died. Right, that as well. And the fact that he said a twist of fate, right? um last episode or episode nine episode eight maybe he said it was a great twist of fate and then we didn't know what he was referring to it was all mysterious and all that well this could be what it is right so 
Mm. I thought we already knew that Adua was the one that, that had birth. Or was that Dowager that was ta- that was being talked about last episode? Was that Dowager's baby that was being talked about? It could be her. Yeah, it's, it might have been her, but nonetheless. No, but I think these two also, It was we already knew that these two had a child. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, we did. And then this one, because, yeah, now it's going to start to make sense because they had to wait. Uh, they couldn't attend to Adua. They had to attend to Dowager. So that's why the Adua's baby had uh, essentially um, essentially died, right? That, that They said that, I guess, they're trying to cover it up that uh, Jinshi's still alive or like the son is still alive by saying that it died. Mm. Passed away. Mm. <laughs><笑>それは違いますよね。reaction to that information that's not the case is it i knew she was suspicious from jump street not 21 oh. so is the baby actually dead she accidentally killed the baby? That's crazy. This is very intriguing. So I guess it did die? That's crazy. That's crazy. The people that knew. That's why she should have tried to poison her. It all makes sense. They had a tight bond. She was shook. Shook.しかし、二度と会うことはないと思われたリーシュヒは。再び高級に現れる同じ上級人としてこう埋めない阿道妃の立場を守るためそして蜂蜜の剣を隠すためはいあなたはリーシュヒのスープに玉を入れたしがらないしがら。ワッペンビハインドそんなの意味がないことをご
She turned herself in. That's better than her getting found out. Figure something out. Hmm. A theory still might stand down like her father. Sorry, guys, I'm just silencing my phone. The same one. Got a wither. Rose about to be laid out. It's fucked up. Okay, we're seeing them two together. She was executed as in killed? Yes! Or are they just talking metaphorically? Like, she, yeah, she was exiled to the south. No way, she's actually dead, though. Nah, that's crazy if that's it. She literally died? Metaphorically? I don't know. That's the... She's a fiend for sake. After my son left me, I became the emperor's friend, not his concubine. Okay. Because they were close before. Right for the girl that died. Jumped in there, drowned. Or got sent there. Pour one out. Really melancholic episode. Melancholic episode. Mm. That's so fucked up. They're all really shackled. But they're willing to do something for the greater good of someone else. For those that they care about or look up to. In the case of Feng Man. That was Jinshi. This man's drunk. All things are about to get mischievous. Is he about to reveal something? Hold on. He might reveal something. Yeah, with Adu. <laughs> the tight grip. He saved you. He's, he's crying. He's lonely. They literally look identical. That's clean. That clown is, crown is clean. Exactly. Mama would be onto something. She's... The gears are shifting. After my son left me. I was literally gonna comment on that. Left me. That could be taken so many ways. Left me as in died. Passed. Up there. Or it could mean literally left. So does Ado actually know and she just never told her? And I mean by her her lady in waiting, Feng Ming. Or just watch. Almost interpret that he's alive. Oh, bro, I swear to God, if a few, if, like a second prior to she was about to say this, I was going to say the same thing. What if Feng Ming actually killed, accidentally killed Dowager's kid? And Jin, she's actually been having, having to pretend that he's 
Dozier's kid when he's actually Adul's kid and he didn't die. He's biologically Adul's kid, but it's making it seem, well, they're hiding the fact that he's actually the son of the emperor and Dowager. That can be possible. We're gonna have to do a DNA test type shit. So they might already know. Mm. I could see that. And that would be why he was oh, okay. No, you're onto something. You're cooking. Let her cook. I don't know why I yelled. It's serious. This might be the best episode yet. So many mysteries, so many questions, so many answers. Well, so little answers, actually. Mm. So let her stay in the kitchen, bro. Let her cook. To think she was the daughter? Is that what he's suspecting? To think that he's the daughter of... I'm gonna talk about this. Oh my god, what a good episode, bro. We got so many questions, so many answers from Feng Ming, and then even more so questions about, or like theories about whether or not the babies were swapped. That's interesting. And the fact that who knows what, right? Ajwa might know. Jinshi might know. They might all know, but they're just hiding it. Or Adwa has like a suspicion, right? She knew, she, um, based off because she's not stupid right she knows Jin she looks like her but you know what i'm saying just for the fact that you know they swap them isn't really a concern to her it's more so the fact that she knows her son, her son is alive and well and even the way when they interact it's kind of like a mother and son minus the fact that he got thrown out but yeah and, I mean, that was just like, they're just drinking together. So it's not that crazy. Yo, that was a sick episode, man. So many, like, so many, so many, like, things happened. Wow. That was my favorite episode. I think pretty easily my favorite episode. Yeah, man, that was a great, great episode. And I can't wait. Because, yeah, he was just saying to think what, wait, let me go back to what, uh, I heard she was kidnapped and sold off. Okay. So that's, yeah, he's talking about Mamo and he might recognize the connection between Mamo and her dad and the connection that the, and the fact that the dad was the one that delivered him. Wow, that was a great episode, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction to episode 11 of, of Apothecary Diaries. I sure as hell enjoyed the hell out of it. Yeah, man. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.